Hey, welcome back, Cloud Scholars. How you doing? I'm your host, Kieran Truss. I'm with another how-to video. In this how-to video, we're going to talk a little bit about creating bulk users in Azure AD. Um, there are times where you, when you get into IT or um, perhaps you're in IT already, and that's why you're on this video looking to see how you can go about doing this. Where HR comes to you and says, hey, we have 20 users that need to be start, that need to start whether they are vendors or whatever the case may be. Um, and we need to get them um, signed up really quickly. Or you might have a, a situation where you they will need you to create the account, but they don't want them signed in as of yet. So in this video, we're going to talk about how you go about creating those users instead of going by individual. We're going to talk about how to get them in from a bulk user standpoint. So I have Azure AD up on my screen right now. And I'm going to click on Active Directory, and I'm going to go to Users. And once in Users, I'm going to go here where it says, instead of going to New Users and Create Users, we're going to go to Bulk Operations. And in Bulk Operations, I'm going to click Bulk Create. And you're going to download this CSV file right here. So I already have it downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up really quickly, and let's take a look at it. Okay, so I have the CSV up on my screen at the moment, and as you can see, it's going to say, you know, version 1.0, you'll see that, and you'll see a bunch of fields here. So there is a lot of stuff that can get filled out here. I want you to focus on these fields. Uh, let me drag it out. Everything that says required is what is needed for... Um, for you to create the account successfully. So display name, username, uh, principal, I'm sorry, pat, initial password, block sign in, first name. Um, well, you don't really need to put that in, but this right here is, is, is required. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and fill it out up to last name. We're not gonna put job title or other stuff. Let's just say HR didn't give us all the information or the department, Well, I hope they would have given you that information, but. Uh, for the sake of this video, we're just going to fill out a couple of fields, and we're gonna what we're gonna do is also is um, <clears throat> we're going to um, do the bulk operations. So I'm gonna fill this out, and then I'm gonna come right back to you. All right, Cloud Scholars, I want to show you one thing. Um, you can download the CSV, and you can open up an Excel. But if you don't open an Excel, and you open it up, and you have a Mac like mine, you have you open up in Numbers, you can use the same thing. Um, it will still work, and um, Azure will know exactly what to uh, do with it. I just opened up Excel because I figured, you know, a lot of people are going to be using that. But if you have a Mac, you can use that as well. Okay, so we are back at the Excel document at the moment, and I have filled in all my users. So I've got same James St. Patrick, I've got Lakeisha, I've got Angela Valdez, and I've got Tommy Egan. Um, to be honest with you, and I should probably have these guys working in finance. If you guys watch the show, then you'll probably get that joke. But anyway, um, so we're all set. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to block sign in for two people. Um, and I'm going to um, allow sign in for two and then block sign in for um, the other two. So um, let's go back over to the Azure portal. Okay, so here we are at the Azure portal. And what I'm going to do right now is I am going to go to bulk operations. And I'm going to do bulk create. And edit your CSV. I'm going to upload the CSV file. All right, Cloud Scholars, I got an error message, which I love. So this way you can see what happens and how you rectify things when they do occur. So this is basically saying, hey, there's no version number in that file. So in the template in the row one, it had a version number. So what we have to do is just go back in, put a row, and put a version number so that Azure says, okay, I accept this. So there you go. And one real quick thing, Cloud Scholars, I just want to let you know that if I – Originally, I had this out and I got an error message it wasn't allowing. So you do need to keep this version here in order for it to, to work properly. So if it doesn't see any version, it's going to give you an error message when you go to put in the, um, the user. So I apologize for that. I shouldn't have taken that out. Um, I just forgot. Sometimes, you know, you're doing this a bunch of times, you still make mistakes. So do not take out this version and keep the version there. Where it says version and version whatever number you want to put and leave that there when you're doing your bulk user uploads. All right, so we're back here now, and then if you can see, upload your CSV, powerusers.csv, and I'm gonna click Submit, and let's see what happens. So it's gonna take a little while. 
so you click on here you can view the progress and it's going to let you know user create and right here at the bulk user operations so if we were to come to all users you see all users and then over here bulk user operation results you can see exactly what happened so you can see i had another bulk user creation set up and on september and here's another one that's going about so we're gonna wait for this to finish and finalize and then once that's done um we'll come back all right, Cloud Scholars, we are back. And as you can see, we do have our users. So we have Tommy Egan is there. We have Lakeisha Grant is there as well. We have Angela Valdez. And where is James St. Patrick? James St. Patrick is here. So let's see if they can sign in. Account status enabled. So that's good because James was one of those who wanted to sign in. Let's check Angela Valdez. She is disabled. Remember, we put down... Um, on sign in, we put down as no. So let's jump back and let's take a look again. So if you remember, block sign in was on uh, Lakeisha Grant and Angela Valdez. So let's go back over and let's look at what's going on with um, uh, Lakeisha Grant. Yep, Lakeisha Grant is disabled as well. So there you go. We have all our users. Uh, so two can sign in and two can. And if we go to our bulk operation results, we can see that success six was successful total request. There's no failures, and I ran it before um, earlier this, uh, actually last month, um, and I ran it. So there we have it. Um, all these users are able to sign in. I am going to delete these accounts because I have a password associated with it, and I don't want anybody who's watching this trying to you know be smart about it. But um, one thing I want to let you know that just make sure that you're doing the at when you uh, need to put your, your full UPN information in on the um, Excel document. So this way it just makes things life a little bit easier for you to just copy that portion. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you all for taking the time and listening to this video. Um, if you found this information, uh, the content to be uh, of value, please smash that like and subscribe button. Here at Cloud Scholars, my goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.